So you were about how old in 06? Um, 26. Gotcha. Okay, so. No, no, matter of fact, I was 23. I turned 23 in the joint. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to add it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. That's one thing. I'm not good at math, so don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can ask away, but hey, it is what it's, it's right, going to be. Right. So, uh, you mentioned that little stint. You want to talk, about, elaborate on that, or can you? Or? Oh, uh, yeah. I was locked up for a year. I was um, charged with um, drug trafficking trafficking cocaine I and mean, I sold to an informant and had to do a year and, and, and which was like the most craziest uniqueness year of my life because I actually it was I visioned being in prison like I had a deja vu and man before it happened before it happened way before it happened mm. like way before it happened and um when I seen it, like, you know, I dream a lot. I, I see it, a lot of things. But, like, I really didn't pinpoint it until I was actually in jail. And when I, like, was on the yard, I turned around and seen exactly what I vision. Like, me looking at the yard, it was in the winter time. You feel me? Well, nobody on the yard or nothing like that. But the people who worked out, for real, for real. Like, yeah, man, so. And we weren't even working out. We were just out, just probably just getting a little workout in. But a lot of us was just chopping it up, for real. And I just so happened to just turn around and just seen like, damn, bro, I seen this. And when I seen it, I was like, damn, like, it just hit me. Like, that's when I really knew. Cause I think that's like the first time I actually envisioned something and really like seeing it like, okay, like, like, you really need to pay attention because you in jail and you seen that. Like, I've been seeing things, but when it comes to that level, it's like, bro, you, you probably a visionary for real. So, like. But um, I went there. Um, my first, my first couple months of my bid, I had to go to CRC. That's like the main spot where they send everybody in Ohio, and I was in there for probably like two months, like longer than I was supposed to be in there. You hear me though? But during that time, I had ran through like a couple bunkies and stuff. Like bunkies, just the people that I mean, you you shack up with when you're in there. Um. And like my last bunkie before I left, I ran into him. He was an artist. So he popped in there and shit. Like, I hit him with the same shit I've been hitting all of my bunkies. Like, shit, you need somebody to draw some shit for you? You need something drawn up? Like, I'm an artist. Like, so I believe he hit me with that before I even got that ass here. Like, so I'm like, oh, you draw? Like, he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, let me see what you got. Yeah, man, man, bro, he showed me some shit. I say, oh, damn, bro, you colder than me. Yeah, you know I mean, that was like a shocker for me because I don't, I don't meet too many artists that is like, you know what I mean, so like his name Timothy Simon, like he actually motherfucking draw like portraits, like he drew like what was this two thousand and six? He was drawing twenty like twenty like twenty two Cadillacs, like he could draw like futuristic like whips, like you know what I mean, he was drawing them already back then though, but. Yeah, you though, know, like, I mean, I met him in my first bid and stuff like and He, uh, he actually, like, helped perfect my art. You know what I mean? Because when I was drawing people, it wasn't on point. You know, like, so he actually told me, like, like when you draw women and kids, you got to kind of be, like, softer with it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you just got to be more delicate when you're drawing them, it seems like. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, I was just getting all the pointers. And, like, when he draw, he had draw somebody with pencil and pen. So like I'm like okay boom 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 I learned all that I got sent to my to the prison I was going to yeah you know I mean which was uh MEPRC yeah you know I mean it was like a um, a correctional facility for people who doing like three years and less yeah you know I mean for people who's like coming for maximum if they lower their sentence down they can get there and finish their bids out yeah you know I mean so that's why I was at and um I go there I draw a picture and shit though like. And I'm thinking I'm about to use the skills he taught me, though. Like, okay, I drew this picture of this nurse. Like, she was like a sexy nurse type shit. Like, I drew her, and then I try to outline my shit with the pen like he do. Fuck the picture up, bro. I was sorry. I say, damn, like. And I just let it be what it was and shit. I said, you know what? 
I'm going to just do it my way. Like, learn what he taught me and shit, but just do it my way. Like, and then ever since then, though, man, my whole bid, I was drawing for the uh, for the inmates, the COs. Like, my girl at the time and shit, she was sending cheese and shit, though, but she really didn't have to. Like, I was already on my hustle shit in there, like, on my grindstone shit there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I talk a whole lot about that shit in my song, Passion. You feel me? Off the album, so.